All right, now that our blog page is done, we've completed every single page on our blog. And the next order of business is just to set up our footer because that's gonna go beneath each page and we'll officially complete each page. To add your footer, you just need to go to any page, like the home page is a great place to start and click edit with Elementor. And we're gonna create the same footer, then save it as a template and use it on every page. You'll see what I mean. So what I want you to do is come all the way to the bottom and just click add a new section. Now select your structure. So I want to put three different things in our footer. So I'm going to go with the three columns. And now we just need to start drag and dropping. So the first thing we want are some social buttons. You can just look for social, grab the social icons and just drag them in the middle. All right, so that was easy. We can of course change their shape like style. I'm going to set a border radius of 25. So they're circles and in content we're going to add one item which of course is youtube but you can see you have a lot of items to choose from super flexible and elementary lets you really show off your social media swagger all right so youtube they even have apple that's pretty cool so youtube and there we go we just need our link which is just www.youtube.com slash guy all right and then if you want to add one more, we can add item. And then I'm also going to do one more. Um, so WordPress looks pretty and all, but I'm actually just going to do um, Reddit because I started posting a little bit on Reddit. I think it's a lot of fun. You can learn so much and people just go nuts in those comments. Okay, so now you guys can check out my Reddits. And Reddit's actually a great source of free organic blog traffic if you answer the right questions or you post really interesting links. So, all right, we're gonna update that section. And now for the right-hand column of our footer, we just want a menu. So we're gonna click on the Rubik's Cube and we're gonna enter menu. We're just gonna grab custom menu and drag it in. Now we'll just select the menu. So we just have the main navigation. Then to get our whole menu on one line, we're gonna play with the menu padding. So we can bring it down. You just have to write in pixels, PX. All right, very good. Now for the left-hand column, I'm just gonna have a copyright, which can just be a text editor. So text editor, and I'm just gonna write copyright 2018, Greg Ryan. All right, pretty simple. And then we can get the copyright symbol just from Google, copyright symbol. And you can just copy and paste it right there from Wikipedia. And yeah, there we go. Put it right after the word and update. So we don't want our footer to be flush up against the section on top of it. So we can add some padding. So you need to click on the settings, whole footer, click advanced, and we're going to give it some padding of 20 everywhere. And then we want to center the text within the footer so we can go to layout and content position middle. Very good. Now we'll just update it and our footer is done. Oh, one more thing. I wanted to stretch it so the footer goes across the whole page and now update it. So how do we use this footer on all of our other pages? Well, we have to save it as a template. If you click this floppy disk icon right here, whatever footer you make can become a global template. So we're going to call this footer version one and save it. Awesome, now it's saved. So let's just make sure our page is saved. Great, it is. And now we can just go back. And now we can just go to our home page and open up a new page and that footer will be waiting for us there. So we can go to about, edit with Elementor, scroll all the way down, add template, my templates, click insert on footer, and update. And now to get rid of the footer that was beneath this page, which is the default footer from Elementor, we just gotta go back to the hamburger, exit to dashboard, and down in Ocean WP settings, click footer and just disable the copyright area and update it. Now when we view page, we will have our own custom footer in place and we also want to disable this black area so we can go to edit page 
footer and disable the footer widgets area and update. MV page. Perfect. Great job. So I'm going to go ahead and do this to all of our pages and then we'll have a consistent footer throughout.